All right, well, there's no wrong way to decorate a tree, but there are certainly many ways to make your tree truly unique. And here with a few trends and creative ideas is Kathy Hobbs, co-host and executive producer of the PIX real estate show, Metro Residential. Kathy, I love when you're here. Oh, thank cause you. Because you give me some ideas. <laughs> I can't follow them very well, but I try. All right, let's get started. So we're talking about um, tree trimming ideas. You have a traditional look first off here. Tell me about this. And when we think of traditional trees, we think of traditional colors, reds and greens. And you can use different shades of red or different shades of green. And here I added a bit of glam by using some ornaments that have glitter to add just a little bit of glitz. It really does. It gives that that traditional look just some some brightness for the holiday season. Exactly. Just a little bit of sparkle. All right, let's move on to our next tree. Um, so your next style is a little more on the fun side, right? It is. Um, you know, when you think of trees, you often think of, you know, adding a little bit of whimsy. So here I kind of had fun with it, adding a confection theme, using, you know, ice cream cones and candy canes, as well as, you know, cupcakes. And this is a type of thing that you don't necessarily have to use ornaments. All of these ornaments were purchased at Pier 1, but you can also use homemade items as well. And so that's what I have here. You know, you can use candy canes, gum drops, and here you can just kind of string them through. I mean, let me just show you how easy this so is. So this is a way to get kind of crafty with it, right? Exactly. And the kids can really take part and really enjoy this as well. And, you know, the best part is that afterwards you have all these fun confections that you can kind of enjoy afterwards. Tree, right? Exactly. I love it. All right. So let's move on to the next tree. And we have, um, what is your last theme? This is kind of a retro feel, right? I'm a big fan of using traditional um, kind of colors, but also a monochromatic design mm -hmm. theme. So here I, like I used that. white, and then I added an accent color, the peacock blue. And this could have been any color. It could have been orange. It could have been red. It could have been green. Just to add a pop of color and really make it your own, whatever your favorite color is, in your case, pink. Pink feathers. Yeah, we could have done pink feathers. And when you talk about different things that you can use, you can use faux pearls. You can use antique jewelry. Um, you can use just things that you kind of love and just put them on the tree, feathers from a craft store. It's all about taking items that you love, and you can really use anything on a tree and kind of make it your own. So you don't have to go and buy big, expensive ornaments. You really can see what you've got at home or see what you really like and put it up there. I mean, this really works all together. I really, I really, I mean, all the trees are beautiful, but I really like this because it's different. In fact, in fact, Hampson, traditionally, ornaments were homemade. When you talk about when tree trimming first came to be, people used berries and fruits and nuts That's to right. decorate a tree. You can still use these same types of items today, pine cones, walnuts, That's acorns. The cranberries? Is that what Cranberries yep. to decorate a tree, absolutely. Um, talk to me a little bit about the order of it, because I never, I, I never know what to do first. I guess the lights, but I get those all tangled up, and then I throw the rest of them on, and then try to go from there. What order do you There is a little bit of a method. First of all, you want to make sure that your lights work. So you plug them and you make sure that you have a good string and then you string those lights around and then you move on to the garland and then you always want to start from the outside um, from the inside and move to the outside you want to start with your big ornaments start on the inside and then you want to layer your ornament and then you're going to put the little ones on the outside those those very special ornaments that you want to uh, highlight gives it a little bit of the fullness and all of it exactly oh, you're wonderful which tree is your favorite this one actually I think <laughs> All right, I like it. I like it a lot. Kathy, thank you so much for coming in. Always crafty, always smart, and finding things around the house to make everything look beautiful. Don't forget Metro Residential airs Sunday mornings at 11 right here on PIX. For more information on what Kathy and real estate expert Jeff Appel have in store this weekend, just log on to WPIX.com to check it all out. John, do you have a favorite? 